when trying to create good textures, even the most seamless ones get repetitive if you zoom out far enough. The problem also arises when you try stacking textures on top of each other or try to use both seamless and normal textures together. So the illusion of one continuous texture is lost in the repetition. This is one of the most common problems that will face CG artists at some point in their daily work. And the solution is not as simple as you may think. There is actually a way to work around that, but there is no easy solution for it. Scattershot add-on for Blender works similarly to texture bombing in Unreal Engine and splattering in Substance Painter. It does the same thing, but it takes it even further. It is a must-have for any 3D artist that uses Blender daily. It combines the power of procedural textures with details of image textures by using Voronoi scattering techniques. Now all you need to do is select your image texture to go to the node menu and select Voronoi scatter. This will prompt you with the Voronoi scatter options and this will allow you to tweak some settings before you apply the scattering. Settings such as Scatter method. The scatter method is the most important as it controls how the texture interacts with the background and other scatter textures around it. This method handles the node setup including transparency and randomness method. And depending on the one you choose, it will impact your performance differently. Just coordinate creates a scatter node that only outputs the scattered vectors for greater flexibility. This is useful for advanced users who want to customize their setups or scatter procedural textures. Interspersed. This method picks a random texture per cell, and each texture is set to repeat to prevent gaps, and all transparency settings are removed to improve performance. Noise Blended This will scatter each texture individually, and by using the noise texture, all of them will be blended together. This method is useful for scattering several sets of PBR textures together. Interspersed Alpha it is similar to interspersed, but it has the ability to change background, alpha clip threshold, and scatter density. Layered Alpha. It creates an interspersed alpha scatter node for each texture or texture set and changes them together inside one parent scatter node, which allows for very basic overlap that is faster than using overlapping. Overlapping Alpha. This one is similar to Simple Alpha with the additional benefit of enabling neighboring cells to overlap with each other. This however will increase shader compilation time, but the result will be much better. You also have Noise Blending. This will allow you to instantly mix any number of nodes using a noise pattern based on the output sockets, names, order, which one is first, and only common output names such as color. You can also always unscatter your textures by using the unscatter option in the node menu. This will revert any changes and display the original setup of the texture. Overall scatter shot for Blender is an awesome add-on that we think every CG artist should have it in their arsenal as the problem it solves is so common, and unfortunately Blender didn't have an easy solution for it. Jonathan from CG Cookie has an in-depth comprehensive breakdown video on what each parameter and slider does. So you can check it out if you want to. And if you are interested in the add-on, you can find links in the description. I hope you found this video useful and informative. If you have something to add, you can leave it in the comment section below. Also, you can check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much and I'll see you in the next one.